A common example of the use of proportions and ratios in biology is making up solutions, especially solutions we're going to use in laboratory experiments. So the example I'm going to give you today is quite a simple one, but highlights some of the questions you need to ask yourself when you're setting about to make up a solution in the laboratory. So the question today is how to make up a one molar solution of glucose and it's been specifically asked to make up 500 millilitres of this solution. In the laboratory, the first thing we have to think about is where we're going to get this glucose from. Because we could have solid, solid glucose available to us you know, in a nice jar container. Or we might be lucky and someone may have made up a stock solution of glucose which has already been made up to a fixed concentration, for example, 5 molar glucose. In such situations, we have to work out how to dilute this stock solution down to the concentration that we want for our experiment. So what I'm going to talk about today is these two types of scenarios which you have to think about if you're going to try and make this solution in the laboratory. So if you are in the laboratory and you have a bottle of solid glucose, the first question that you have to ask yourself is of course how much of this glucose I need to weigh out. From first year chemistry, you should realise that a one molar solution of a particular compound, and you see I'm talking about big M here, means moles per litre. And you will notice that I am talking about here a moles, which is an amount. And because that amount is per volume, it becomes a concentration. One of the most common things that students get mixed up is the difference between molar, which is a concentration, and moles, which is an amount. From first year chemistry, you should also know that one molar means that you have the molecular weight in grams of the actual compound. So glucose has a molecular weight of 180. One molar is 180 grams per litre. But my boss in this case has asked me not to make one litre, but 500 mils. So there's a couple of ways you can think about this. If, if you can do the conversion straight away, some people would say, well, one molar solution would be 90 grams per 500 mils, which of course is half a litre. So all we've simply done here is divide by 2 and divide by by two here. So to make up our solution of glucose at one molar, we would weigh out 90 grams of glucose and then add water up to a volume of 500 mils. And that would make our one molar, 500 mils of our one molar glucose solution. As I alluded to before, another way that scientists will make up solutions in laboratory is of dilution of a stock solution. So you might have on the shelf already a solution which contains, which is five molar in concentration of glucose. So the question then is, how do we dilute this solution down to a concentration of one molar? Again, if you are mathematically inclined, you could see that you need to dilute it fivefold. So you would be thinking about taking one part of the glucose stock solution and adding four parts water. So in our example here, to make our five molar glucose solution, we would take a hundred mils 
of the 5 molar glucose and add 400 mils of water. And immediately what we have done then is to reduce the concentration of glucose fivefold. So a lot of people will have stock solutions around in laboratories because it saves them going out using balances um, and things like that. They can simply just adjust the concentrations using water quite quickly at the laboratory bench. So the key thing when you're making up solutions is to think about what your starting materials are and then working out what proportions of solvent, which is usually water, um, to the amount of uh, compound that you're actually wanting in your actual solution.